Y'all ready to be streamers? We going back to top streamer. Sexy got me motivated, baby. I just want to let you know. Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Allie Fitz, and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello. I love you already. Make sure you slap that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit. It's true. And once you've done that, make sure to follow my social medias over here to stay connected with your girl. And turn on those post notifications so you know all the tea first. Speaking of tea, if y'all did not know, my new song, Falling Star, is now available on all the streaming platforms and the music video is out too. So if you haven't watched it yet, I'm literally judging you because why are you watching this video and not the music video? Like, I'm judging you. And while you're at it, make sure you check out the merch at outfits.art because I'm always wearing it. And you want to match me, right? Yes. You want to be the baddest of the baddies, right? Yes. But now that that's all promo is out of the way. Okay, so we finished our last episode that we did, which was Double Dumped. And I asked y'all what we should do next. And a lot of you guys said, um, girl, I heard Top Streamer has more episodes. Go back and do that. So here I am going back to do that. I don't remember what any of the characters sound like, um, but I'm gonna try my best. Like this video if you're ready. Time to level up Top Streamer. Chapter 33. Face masks and anime, is that what that said? Spit it out, Raven. Maybe I just want closure. You barely let me talk when we broke up. And why was that again? Oh yeah, because you called me pathetic and said you couldn't wait to break up with me. Okay, I'll admit that was a low blow, but can you blame me? You were never there for me when I needed you. I needed a boyfriend, not whatever the guy who just stayed in bed and whined was. Ooh, interesting how you seem happy to do anything for Miss Too Much Pink though. Because I was depressed, Raven. And that's still a part of me. One year little stunt hasn't been helping, by the way. I offered you an effing out back then. Was it so hard to just let go of me if you hated who I was so much? Yeah, because I loved you. No, you didn't. Maybe you loved being loved or the money I gave you, but you sure as hell didn't love me. You don't do what you did to me, to someone you love. No matter what I do, I'll always be the bad guy, won't I? You put yourself in that role all on your own. I wanted a life with you. I wanted to be happy together. And now you want that with Vienna, right? I do. Which is why I'm asking you, if you ever loved me, please tell the world the truth. We both know Vienna did nothing wrong. We broke up long before she ever came into the picture. That's true, but it doesn't change the fact that you treat her better than you ever treated me. Even before your so-called depression, you already hated doing things with me. How was that effing fair? I grew up, I'm sorry. I should have compromised more during our relationship and I'm sorry, I really am. I wasn't always the boyfriend you deserve, I'll admit that. But I can't change the past. All I want is for both of us to move on. You finally admit it. But I can't release a statement, I'm sorry. What? Look, controversy sells. People are loving this drama and I'm getting a ton of free publicity. Even you and Vienna are trending. Just enjoy it and move on like you said. <gasps> oh, clout is a crazy drug. We're getting effing death threats. This hasn't been fun or good for us. Do you have any idea how close I came to? Just stop, Zero. You're not gonna make me feel bad for you like you used to. If you were really gonna do anything to yourself, you wouldn't announce it like that. <gasps> this is just a cry for attention. Damn, she ain't shit. You know, I really hoped you'd change. But you're still the same selfish girl I heard on the phone that day. Bye, Raven. We hate you and I'm about to make a song. <laughs> she said, what? I'm gonna kick her ass, or she really is an awful person, or are you okay? I'm gonna kick her ass. I'm gonna kick her ass. Love the spirit, but that won't be necessary. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but I had a fail safe. The world's gonna know the truth one way or another. What do you mean? I figured Raven might be lying about releasing a statement, so I recorded our entire conversation. <gasps> Let's see how people feel about her when they know the whole story. Oh, got her. Oh my God. Z, you're a genius. I know. I normally wouldn't agree with exposing someone like this, but she deserves it. I sent Parker to do some it magic and upload it anonymously and all. Oh, she'll know it's me, but at least it can't be traced back. How very Mr. Robot of you. <laughs> you know, I always had a thing for Rami Malik. I hope I'm saying that right, but I'm probably not. Did you know? Oh, look at us next morning. Oh, T. Good morning, Z. How are you feeling? I'm okay. I'm wondering how people are reacting to the video. Let's check it out. Uh-oh. 
Okay, tap the arrow to read. Streamer Watch said, Exposed. A new leaked video shows Raven Sinclair admitting that our poor Sly Fox and Player Zero are actually innocent in all of this, and she faked the whole thing for clout. Fans and haters alike are canceling her already. Yikes. Well, see, oh, she, she has a whole little apology. I'll do better. I'd like to apologize to the public, my fans, and most importantly, Zero. There's no excuse for my words and the way I behaved, and I'm deeply sorry for my actions. Mental health is a very serious topic that I simply didn't have enough knowledge about. Shut up! And I'm dedicated to educating myself and making up for my mistakes. The comments I made were ignorant and wrong. Duh! I'm aware they hurt people, and I'll be working on myself to ensure something like that never happens again. But it will, because you're trash. Thank you for bringing this to my attention and holding me responsible. Trash. I'd be better in the future, Raven Sinclair. No. LMAO, did anyone at all buy that Raven Sinclair fake ass apology? Girl, fire your PR person right now. Ooh. Shame on you, Raven Sinclair. Depression is a very serious mental illness. Player Zero, we all love and support you and Sly Fox. Ooh. You're done, Raven Sinclair. I always knew you were shady, and now the truth is out. Bye, bitch. Ooh. Raven Sinclair's label is delaying her album, and they might even drop her. LOL. Not even Isabella Santiago would touch that mess. I simply didn't have enough knowledge. Cry me an effing river. I normally have empathy for people, but screw her. <laughs> you can't claim that as an excuse to make fun of someone's depression. I just don't get how I didn't see it for two years. Was she always that awful? And was I too blind? People usually don't show their true colors right away. But at least now you and the rest of the world know. Damn right, she's getting dragged worse than Sonic's original movie design. <laughs> it's what she deserves. It's what she deserves. And people are showing support for us, so things should go back to normal soon enough. Which means we'll need to talk about that dinner with your parents. Ugh, must we? You're the one who decided to go, Z. I also decided to drink three cans of Energy X at 4 a.m. the other day. Ah, I clearly shouldn't be trusted to make decisions. Ha, <laughs> no you shouldn't. Zero, fine, let's talk about it. Then we can also talk about you deciding to be the maid of honor to your crazy ass sister. I forgot about that too. I felt bad, okay? Damn, I forgot about all this tea that they left us with. Meanwhile. So, have you heard about Mr. Hardwick? Are they talking about Parker? Heard what? He's been locked in his office all of last week in this one. He's been going crazy since the game release is so close. Don't tell me there's another huge bug. Nope, it's better. I heard a rumor that he might be getting married soon. What? What? I didn't even know he was dating anyone. Please, he's pretty much married to his job only. But you know how his parents are like New York elite, right? Apparently, they wouldn't make a match with some other rich family or something. How do you even know that? One hears things. Damn, she knows he. You know, you can't trust random gossip like that. I don't know, seems pretty plausible to me. A guy like that doesn't stay single for long. What I wouldn't give to be the one snagging our hot millionaire CEO. Oh my God, he's our boss. I mean, have you seen him though? You're crazy. Oh my God. And he heard the whole thing. You remember they trying to get together? But not really, but yes. Not her singing Falling Star by Ali Fitz. Um, just kidding, she's singing Ariana Grande. But you know what? She's also singing Falling Star by Ali Fitz. Stream Falling Star by Ali Fitz. Oh shit, what happened? I really am meeting Zero's mom tonight. Those are literally the worst lyrics I can sing right now. Oh, meet your mama on a Sunday. <laughs> Let me stop. Great, I sound like a pervert. Vienna? I wasn't saying anything. Definitely nothing about anyone's mama. <laughs> what? What? Mm, is this a bad time? Zero around. He's taking a shower. We're getting ready to have dinner with his parents. What's going on? You look tense. Did Zero mention something about Parker? Like something happening to him lately? Mm hmm, not really. But we've been so busy with this Raven thing that they haven't talked much lately. Why do you ask? I just heard some stuff and I, I don't know. I just thought he'd tell me if it was true. He hasn't talked to me in a while and I don't know if I did something. Key looks kind of nervous. He's never like this. Is something going on with you two? What? Why would you say that? Defensive, are we? You just look a bit off. Or you two have been spending a lot of time together, that's all. Or you'd be cute together. You two have been spending a lot of time together, that's all. If there's anything you want to tell me, well, Parker, he, and what? Vienna, I, oh, hey, Key. Did I hear you say Parker's name? No, I wasn't talking about Parker. Why would I? I, I was, I was, I 
not talking about Peter Parker. Love that guy. He's my favorite superhero. Tom Holland is like so hot. We're also jealous of Zendaya, am I right? <laughs> not me, but you know, whatever. That was the worst save ever. Sure, Spider-Man is cool. Thank God my boyfriend has the social skills of an energy X can. <laughs> anyway, I was on my way out now. Have fun with the parents and whatnot. Ooh. So what did he want? Nothing, it was nothing important. Totally don't think my best friend has a crush on your best friend now, nope. But it's not my place to tell Z before Key tells Parker, so we should get dressed. Why is everyone acting so weird today? Cause they hiding shit from you, buddy. You better like clock it. Choose my outfit to have dinner with Zero's parents. Like we have to look good, but we also have to look modest, but also really good. Um, that's cute. Ooh, I said modest, but that is so cute. And you know, Zero always wearing black. So you know what, I'm going with the black. Boom, boom. We did a little bit of pink lip gloss cause you know, Vienna loves pink, even if she's wearing black. Do you think your parents will like this outfit? Will they like me? You look beautiful, Vienna. And it doesn't matter what they think of you. You know that. And you know it's impossible for me to not care about what people think of me. I just don't want you to feel like you need to impress them. They're the ones who messed up with me. They need to impress us. <laughs> what do you think they're gonna be like? I have no idea. Maybe they're the same people and nothing changed, but I need to do this. I'll admit I'm kind of nervous though. I haven't seen them in three years. It's a lot to handle but it's easier with you by my side. Ah, uh, he's so cute sometimes. I got your bag, Z, or then let's go. I got your bag, Z. Oh, now let's crush this dinner. You're really awesome, Foxy. <laughs> I know, I know. Adrian, I missed you so much, my love. Right away, I can tell Zero feels uncomfortable with the sudden touch. He's not a huge fan of physical contact, especially from people he's not close to. Considering he hasn't seen his parents in three years, it's natural that he wouldn't want to hug right away. Uh, oh, I, um, hmm. Oh, she's speaking in Spanish. I, I don't know what she's saying. English, please. My girlfriend doesn't speak Spanish. Right, of course. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. It's a pleasure to meet you. We miss you, Adrian. I go by zero now. Zero? What's wrong with the name we gave you? Nothing, but only people I'm close to use it. We haven't spoken in three years, remember? Adrian, that's Enrique, please. If he wants to be called Zero, let's respect that. Right. Let's sit down to eat then. Let's not make this awkward. We order our food and we get through several minutes of awkward small talk, neither one of us knowing exactly what to say. Zero looks more relaxed than I thought he'd be, but his hand on my leg tells me he's not as okay as he wants them to think. I just hope we can get through this without them hurting him even more. So, how have you been these past few years? Fine. Lucky for me, I made some good friends after getting thrown out of my own home. We're hoping that we can put that behind us and move on. We were too harsh on you and we're sorry. Sorry? Oh, I also got even more depressed last year. Not that you care because you don't think that's a real thing, do you? How about we change the subject to something more pleasant? You and Vienna make an interesting couple. How did you meet? On eStream, she's also a streamer. I was hosting a charity date contest and Zero made a really big donation. The fans liked our chemistry so much that he won a date with me. You were selling a date with you on the internet? I will never understand your generation. No, you won't, oldie. Oh, she was doing it for a good cause. And it was just a friendly dinner anyway. After that, we became friends and things progressed from there. Zero's been amazing and I'm very lucky to have him. It must be nice to have the same career. We looked a bit into your work as a streamer and you're doing quite well, Zero. I had no idea you could do that just by playing games. I tried to tell you, but you wouldn't listen. I know, we weren't the parents you deserved. That's why we reached out because we want to change that. We saw how successful you've become and we're sorry for doubting you. We should have supported you when you said you wanted to work with video games. Is that why you're apologizing? Just because I got successful? So if this hadn't worked out for me, you wouldn't be saying any of that. Would you have even reached out to me? Of course we would, we love you either way. We just wanna make up for our mistakes and be in your life again. Weird, cause it didn't feel like you loved me when you said you didn't have a son anymore. Ooh. A part of me wants to step up and say something, but I can tell this is something Zero needs to do on his own. I see in his eyes that he's already made a decision about them and whatever it is, I'm standing by him. It's nice that you want to step up now and all, but I don't need you anymore. 
When I did need you, you turned your back on me and threw me out. So you don't get to come back like that and try to play the sweet, caring parents. Get them. Even though I forgive you for what you did, I'm doing that for me. Maybe a better person would be able to move on, but I don't want you in my life from now on. You can't turn your back on your family. If they're rude, we wanna be there for you. You haven't been my family for a long time. I made a new one anyway. I have two amazing best friends and a great girlfriend. People who have done more for me in a few years than you did my entire life. <laughs> I ate them up. Thank you for reaching out and apologizing. It does mean a lot to me. But I'm afraid this is the last time we see each other. Please don't do this, Adrian. It's been done. I'm sorry, but I have to. Let's go, Vienna. And Vienna got up. Just one thing before we do. You two have a wonderful son, and it's too bad you couldn't see him in time. He struggled a lot, and instead of supporting him like parents should, you ignored his problems. But if it means anything, you don't need to worry about him from now on. I'm gonna be by his side and give him all the support you couldn't. Oh, <laughs> Vienna had to take a lick too. Goodbye. Z, are you okay? No. I look at Zero expecting him to look upset or on edge. Instead, I find his expression completely calm. He's got a half smile that makes him look devilishly handsome. No sign of any guilt or worry in sight. I worried seeing his parents again would unsettle him, but maybe I was wrong. Maybe he really just needed one last time with them for closure. Surprisingly, yeah. I know they said they wanted to make amends and they apologized, but it doesn't change what they did before and I can't get over that. I don't know if you agree, but how do I feel about this? Um, you were too harsh on them, or I said I'd support you no matter what you decided, or I think you were right. I said I'd support you no matter what you said. Like, I'm a ride or die girl. I said I'd support you no matter what you decided. If you don't want them in your life anymore, I completely understand. Thank you. No matter what, it was good to see them one last time. Now I can end this chapter of my life for good and start a new one with you. I'm all for that. On that note, how about we do something fun to end the night? Oh, what kind of fun you talk about, Vienna? Let's go home right now. <laughs> oh, he knows. <gasps> Can you stop moving so much? I can't, it's uncomfortable. Just settle down. Ugh. <gasps> so cute. This is me and my man, like for real. I'm almost done applying the mask, quit whining. When you suggested we did something fun to end the night, this isn't what I had in mind. <laughs> You won't be complaining when you see how great your skin will look. I literally did a face mask last night. Proof. Okay, pretty sure I will. And what's with the stupid bunny ears? I feel like now you're just messing with me. They're there to keep your hair from falling on your face and getting all over the mask. You look adorable, shut up. I guess the mask feels kinda nice. See, I told you. Ugh, I gotta do my nails too, but I'm so tired. I could do them for you. I'm no professional, but I've been doing mine for years. Wait, really? Sure, but only if it's black. All right, emo boy. Let's see if you really got skills. Oh, he's gonna do, this is amazing. After we set everything on the bed, Zero gently takes my hand and starts painting my nails. His furrowed eyebrows as he concentrates are the cutest things in the world. Oh, this is kind of nice. Really? Because you were complaining just a minute ago. <laughs> complaining is my thing. But for real, I like this. The soft smile on his lips almost makes me melt. Before I knew Zero, I thought he was the kind of person who would make fun of me for liking makeup and girly things. I had my fair share of boys and girls alike thinking I was stupid or any less capable just because I loved those things so much. But he never did. Instead, he always made a point of complimenting me for it and seeing it as art. Even before when he complained a bit, I could tell he was having fun and not mocking me. I take a moment to simply watch him before I open my mouth again. Can I ask you something? He nods as my heart beats faster, slightly worried about his answer. At dinner, you said that you made a new family with Parker, Solana, and me. Do you really see me like that? When he said that, all I could do was smile and hope I didn't look too surprised. Of course I know how much he cares about me, but being called his family? That wasn't something I was expecting at all. Not that I mind being seen this way by him, as part of his family. Was that too much? I didn't mean to freak you out or something. I just meant, you make me feel happy and safe. Something I never felt with my real family. He didn't freak me out. 
I think it's sweet that you think of me like that. Good to know I didn't scare you away. By now, I don't think there's anything he can do that would scare me away. I know for a fact that I belong with him. Aw, somehow this sarcastic, cute, moody disaster of a human is my perfect match and I wouldn't want it any other way. You couldn't. I like you too much now. I like you too much too. More than that. Is he going to... I adore you, Vienna. Everything you do and say, it's like you're my safe place. I can't imagine a world where you're not with me. It's not a declaration of love, yet somehow it is. He might not have said the words, but in a way, being adored by him is enough for now. When did we turn so sentimental? I guess seeing my parents made me realize you need to tell people how you feel before it's too late. Not that I'm very good at this, but you're doing great. I want a world with you forever too, emo boy. Weren't you expecting more? I feel like I'm being so slow. None of this comes easy to me, but I don't want to disappoint you. He doesn't need to put it into the right words for me to know exactly what he's talking about. Those three little words have been hanging between us for a while, yet no one's had the courage to say them. The girl I used to be would be worried by now, wondering if he doesn't feel the same way I do. But who I became, partially because of him, knows that there's no rush. We get to take this at our own pace. All I care about is being with you. Anything else, you can take your time, Z. Aw, you're really one of a kind, Foxy. And you're gonna have some pretty ass nails soon, thanks to my awesome talents. <laughs> Of course he had to say something like that. It wouldn't be zero if he hadn't. My idiot, adorable boyfriend. It really isn't you if you don't ruin the moment with some stupid shit, huh? That's my gift, babe. Never call me that again. We both smile at each other, simply enjoying the moment we're in. Staring at him as he does my nails reassures me that I really don't need anything else. I'm happy enough just to have zero. They're so cute. <laughs> oh my God, still hanging out. Love this for them. I was thinking about my sister. She's always been reckless, but rushing to get married like this seems way too crazy, even for her. Why do you think she's doing it so quickly? Pregnant. Maybe she's pregnant, right? Hey, do you wanna order some burgers? <laughs> we just had dinner, but do you really think she could be pregnant? Dinner wasn't enough, I'm still hungry. See, what if she really is pregnant? I was just joking. Is that a no on the burgers then? <laughs> Zero, this is serious. Fine, no burgers. Who cares even if she is? We're not in the year 1940. People don't get married just because the girl is pregnant anymore. You don't know my parents. They're super conservative about this stuff. If Dion had a baby without being married, they'd lose their minds. That's not really your problem though. True. Right, until I'm the one taking care of the kid half the time. Uh-uh. And you know I'd feel bad and be unable to say no. Why do I have a feeling I'd get roped into this too? I'm warning you, I can barely keep myself alive, let alone a child. Ah, uh, shocking. I'm sure you would get better at it for your dear girlfriend. Or, trust me, I'm very aware of what a disaster you are. Or, I wasn't asking, calm down. You're a disaster. Trust me, I'm very aware of what a disaster you are. <laughs> Good. Then let's just hope it's not true. I'm going to Dion's final dress fitting tomorrow, so I'll try to find out. We're also going to get a maid of honor dress. I'm hoping she'll pick out something pretty. Does this mean I gotta go to the wedding too? And wear a suit? Obviously. You're gonna look dashing in a black suit, babe. <laughs> You're killing me. Stop being so grumpy. We can still end the night with something really fun. Ah! None of my business. None of my business. Time for some wedding shopping. How will that go? I don't know. There's a bonus scene. Oh <gasps> Yes, let's read it. Make sure you guys have liked it. If you have not liked this video, like it, because I'm doing bonus scenes for you, paying money for you. After Vienna gets the nail polish, I take her hand and start carefully painting her nails. I'm concentrating a lot more than I do when I'm painting my own nails, but I don't want to accidentally spill something or mess up too much. As annoyed as I was about the face mask, I have to admit that having a peaceful moment like this with her is nice. Oh, this is kind of nice. Really? Because you were complaining just a minute ago. Complaining is my thing, but for real, I like this. Vienna and I have always been different, although some of our interests aligned. I might not know anything about makeup, skincare, or the other things she likes, but I'm willing to learn and have fun with her. And I know what it's like to get teased just because of your interests, so I never do that to her. Can I ask you something? At dinner, you said you made a new family with Parker, Solana, and me. Do you really see me like that? Saying that felt so natural that I barely realized the weight of what I was saying until now. 
I didn't just tell my parents I'd like to be in it. I called her my family, which now makes me worry that she might think I'm moving too fast. Great, one zero, way to mess up things with the most amazing girl in the world. Was that too much? I didn't mean to freak you out or something. I just meant you make me feel happy and safe. Something I never felt with my real family. You didn't freak me out. I think it's sweet that you think of me like that. Good to know I didn't scare you away. I sign relief, grateful that I didn't mess everything up. I don't know exactly when it happened, but somehow Vienna became such a big part of my life that the thought of losing her makes my heart ache. You couldn't. I like you too much now. I like you too much too. More than that. My hands start shaking as I prepare myself for what I'll say next. I wish I could say more, that I had it in me to take that leap, but I can't. Well, I don't have enough courage for it all. I have enough courage for at least something. I adore you, Vienna. Everything you do and say, it's like you're my safe place. I can't imagine a world where you're not with me. Being around Vienna is like being constantly surrounded by this bright, incredible light that makes everything better. I adore, admire, and worship her beyond words. When did we turn so sentimental? <laughs> I guess seeing my parents made me realize you need to tell people how you feel before it's too late. Not that I'm very good at this, but you're doing great. I want a world with you forever too, Ema boy. Weren't you expecting more? I feel like I'm being slow. None of this comes easy to me, but I don't want to disappoint you. It's not that I don't feel strongly about her. It's that the words escape me whenever I think about it. I've only been in love once before and everything fell apart so fast that I didn't even have time to try to salvage it. I'm terrified of screwing this up, which is why I keep insisting on taking things slow. I just hope Vienna knows I'm doing this for us so we can be stronger and actually last. Aw, all I care about is being with you. Anything else, you can take your time, Z. You're really one of a kind, Foxy. And you're gonna have some pretty ass nails soon, thanks to my awesome talents. It really isn't you if you don't ruin the moment with some stupid shit, huh? That's my gift, babe. Never call me that again. When she smiles, she shines so bright that I'm almost blinded by her beauty. Looking at her, I forget all the bad things that happened recently and only care about being in this moment together. Vienna Fox is everything I see. She's my everything. He loves her. Damn. These episode men really be loving their girl. Yes. And if you want more Top Streamer and you really love it, make sure you like this video, share it with one of your friends, put the link in the group chat that you're in. I know you in group chats, just put the link in no other context, that's it. And check out my music, especially my new song, Falling Star, because it does slap. And my merch at outfits.art, match me bestie. So have a great day in the name of the Lord, and may God bless you every step.